Okay, hello everyone. Um, so I'm sorry my last video got cut off because I didn't realize if my phone rings while I'm recording, I haven't figured out how not to um, let it interrupt or cut off the video. So I apologize for that, but we're back to Surge Edges. So I just wanted to let you see that, again, my pin here means I'm working with the top part of my fabric. I've already put it in the machine and all I'm doing now is finishing the edge of this fabric um, again, all the way to the end. So here we go. Remember, this is a serge machine. So what it's doing is, it's actually taking the edges of the fabric and it's giving it a really nice finished look so that you don't have to go through that last step if you don't want to. For me, it's a preference because I like to take shortcuts when I sew anything that'll get me to a very nice, um, finish professional look the fastest that's the approach that I like to do because um, sometimes you don't have time on your side so this is the um, faster approach for me and I actually like what the um, serge edge looks like because again it gives your fabric your raw edges that finished look that you're looking for do you sometimes have to cut threads um, sure, of course you do, but it's fine because that only takes a few minutes. So I'm going to show you what this looks like um, once I'm done because then the only thing we'll have to do is we'll just have to um, iron our edge up just like we did with the other ones, but we're actually going to use this as our finished, I'm sorry, as our um, finished edge. So basically, um, we, we already have this uh edge finished and i'll show you where we go from here hold on guys all right so now i'm back at the um ironing board so as you can see here's my surged edge see how nicely finished that is and how neat it looks the edge doesn't have all of those um strings at the bottom and again if you use this technique you have to do it for your um, all of your panels for all four of your panels so even though um, this is technically me finishing my raw edge I still don't want this as the bottom part of my finished balance so now I have to iron it that half inch before we did it um, in quarters we ironed up a quarter one we ironed a quarter up then we flipped it and we ironed another quarter this time I'm simply going to iron a half inch once once I find my measuring tape. Um, hold on one second. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, so um, I, I went and got my measuring tape because this time, and since I know I'm not going to be um, doing the quarter and a quarter, I'm just going to um, measure what one half of an inch is because that's approximately... Um, what this edge needs to be from the top one a half an inch. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to turn it over I'm going to use my measuring tape a half an inch would be um, Approximately I hope I can show you. Yeah, so this is an inch. So this is my half inch line I'm going to put it down here on my fabric Okay, and until I get to a half inch the half inch mark which is about roughly right about here okay so once I know where my half inch mark is and sometimes it takes time to play with it I'm trying to um, rush because I always think these videos no one wants to look at a long video but I also want to show you guys the correct way so that's roughly um, my half inch so once you have your half inch I usually um, iron down the tip of it so that you, you'll have it as a guide and with this you just keep placing your uh, your measuring tape or your ruler to make sure you stay on that half inch mark as you can see I'm doing okay I'm getting a message that I'm, I'm out of storage, but I shouldn't be. So we'll just keep going, guys. So we'll, we're gonna, remember, you have to do this 
all the way across to the end of your valance okay so here we go um, I'm just gonna keep doing a half inch all the way across until we get to the end so um, hopefully you'll visit my website Buster Wraps B-U-S-T-A-W-R-A-P-P-S bye-bye